The next stage of the examination is to listen to bowel sounds using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. This is auscultation. In some cases, you will need to perform auscultation before palpation and percussion. The reason being that if you need to assess the peristaltic sounds, then deep palpation or percussion may change the frequency before you had a chance to evaluate the patient as they were. When auscultating, we listen to the abdomen for normal bowel sounds, which are produced by peristalsis. These clicks and gurgles, known as borborygmae, are normally produced at 5 to 10 second intervals. If the sounds are absent, this may signify paralytic ileus or generalized peritonitis. Excessive bowel sounds may signify increased peristalsis, such as diarrhea or partial obstruction of the bowel. The best place to listen for general bowel sounds is around the umbilicus. In addition to bowel sounds, you may also want to listen around the bifurcations of the aorta, over the renal arteries, and over the common iliac arteries. Listen for bruits, which indicate turbulent flow that suggest arteriosclerotic occlusions or an aneurysm. A friction wrap over the liver or spleen may be produced by inflammation of the outer fibrous capsule of the organ. A hepatic bruit may be suggestive of an enlarged liver, primary liver cancer, or acute alcoholic hepatitis. <laughs>